Well, good morning, internet. As you can tell, it's um, frosty today. Oh, it's cold. And I've got one quick job to do. Um, that little beauty up there. Now, I don't know what it is about these lights. I've had four or five of these now. They only seem to last about a year, and then they break, um, which is really annoying, um, because I don't know why. <laughs> I know the wiring looks like crap, so before you comment on it, yeah, it does look like crap, I'm quite aware of that. But, um, yeah, for some reason, these side lights, um, I don't know, they just don't seem to last more than a year. Very crazy. So, today, I'm going to have to get up there and get it changed. And this is the one I'm putting up, which, I'll be honest, looks suspiciously like the one that's up there. I will find out when I take that one down. So, um, yeah, should we do the the internet live unboxing one-handed let's give it a try oh so as I say I've done lap uh, fluorescent lighting in the garage before and uh, it's been brilliant uh, for the price I cannot knock it at all and uh, it seems Screwfix have a lot of lap stuff now don't know who makes it um, let's see if we can work it out oh, made in China <laughs> oh dear um, okay <laughs> right it's made in China, such is life. Um, right, let's try and get this out of the box. So it's one of them, and one of them. Like I say, it looks very suspicious as like the one I've got up there already. But um, there you go, there's the live unboxing. And you get a connector, and a light with a PIR. Uh, right, let's get some tools and get started. And uh, I think the first job we've got to do is um, Somebody wants to go walkies, don't they? Yes! Somebody wants to go walkies, so... Yeah, I think I've got to do that first. Bear with! Okay, I've got my head cam on. I've got my steps out. I've got the electric off, which of course I'm going to check. Before I take anything to bits. And I think... Just about get my screwdriver in there, yeah. Safety first. Let's see voltage. Live. Neutral. Yeah, she's there. Good. So I'm just comparing the two. Um, this one's definitely bigger. That one was hmm. It was very similar. Well, I'm hoping, yeah, that's, a, that's an 18, that's a 20. Um, so I'm hoping this one will last longer. Thank <laughs> you. 
So there was nothing too taxing about it, uh, as you saw. Basically, um, just disconnected the wires from the junction box there and uh, connected the new one up. Um, there were two screw holes there that matched up, so they're the ones I used. Didn't bother with that one. It's not that heavy, to be honest, so it doesn't really matter. Faced it down, obviously not to uh, scare aircrafts or neighbours. And uh, yeah, the PIR I set pretty much where the old one was, uh, all the dials pretty much in the middle. So let's switch the electric on and see what happens. We're on. And I'll be honest, I thought the light would come on. But it hasn't. Usually you do. Let's have a point that up. Let's have a little bit of a mess about here. Right, usually in the past when I've done these, they have come on. Um, right, I guess I better check that um, I've got a connection everywhere. So I've just run the meter over it again. There is 240 volts going to it. And um, let's, let's cover the sensor, just in case it's that. Hmm. I'll be honest, this isn't looking very promising. It's looking like this is a dead unit. Ah, so... Unlike lap stuff of the past, got the feeling this one's let me down a little bit. All right, I'll keep looking for now because I've done anything really stupid, but I'll be honest at the moment, it ain't looking good. Nothing is happening. Okay, I stand corrected. <laughs> I covered the center again and it blinded me. Um, so it is working. <sighs> I don't know, that was very bizarre, very strange. Um, it definitely wasn't working, you saw that, and pretty much I did everything with the sensor and uh, it weren't having it, but um, yeah, covered the sensor this time and now it is having it, so um, it is working. <sighs> Bizarre. Alright, not going to mock it. Um, I'll wait till uh, a little bit later, till it gets dusk, and, uh, and see how it performs. Hmm, maybe this page in the instructions was the key. Apparently you can override the sensor mode. Deactivate the override sensor mode. Yeah, who needs instructions eh? It's working. Oh, there you go, now it's gone off. So um, I'm going to get my gunk out and gunk up the holes. That's for you wants water in these things. It works. Lovely, lovely gunk. Gunk, gunk, gunk. You can't get enough gunk. Gunk it up. And for my last trick, I was going to say a 10mm spanner will take care of that. And you know how difficult it is to find a 10mm spanner? It's eight. And as I was saying, for my last trick, an 8mm spanner will take care of that. Yeah, an 8mm. All done. As you can see, it's proper dark now. So, let's see. Oh! Yeah, it works. <laughs> Super. Yeah, that's, um, that lights up the passageway. <laughs> right, I'm going in. Blooming freezing. Good night, everybody.